The early morning derailment happened in the middle of Maynard and not far from and Sylvia Lopez's front door. I was still asleep, but when you're in a deep sleep and something like that wakes you up, it's pretty bad. It's the third near miss for Lopez and her neighbors. And it's, I was in the middle, three. yeah, in the middle of the night and people are just waking, and they just wake people up. It's bad enough when they pass because they have to honk or something. So that wakes you up. But when they derail, that's loud. You don't know if they hit something or till you actually come out and see. The train was hauling 65 cars filled with gravel. Of the five that derailed, three overturned, spilling stone and bending rails. The line, which is on Cat Metro right away, is operated and maintained by a Kansas freight company called Watco. While the cause of the derailment was being investigated, morning commutes were being adjusted. That included parents and students of this Maynard ISD school located near the railroad. The largest impact we've seen with this is obviously the destruction of the, the land around the tracks, uh, but we've also seen uh, the interference with our morning and afternoon traffic. Uh, these rail cars sit blocking the some of the main cut through uh, intersections of our of our community from people traveling from outside from uh, Travis County through the city. And so that right now has been our biggest headache along with the cleanup. And uh, you know, what's to say next time we're not dealing with something, something bigger. Several recent big derailments like those in Ohio are putting a new focus on railroad safety standards. Maynard has a hazardous materials response plan. While activation was not needed Monday morning, this reoccurring problem is not being ignored. So I'm on the path to making sure that some regulatory agencies are aware of what uh, is occurring out here and uh, see if uh, they can uh, uh, come out and provide any assistance in the causes and, and what we're seeing. Monday afternoon, the overturned gravel cars were being uprighted. But as the damage is hauled off and the rails repaired, residents like Sylvia Lopez can only wonder when the next derailment will happen. Well, it, it is, wor you know, something to worry about, but as long as it doesn't hit me, I'm a, they stay away from, you know, it's just bad, it's just bad.